श्री सुंदर राज जी सदाशिव भट्ट एंड जूनियर भट्ट एंड ऑल्सो the very discerning audience that is there before me i had very severe hesitations before i accepted this to be honest i thought i am not into do with this in a sense not with a sense of uh, not mind not that but honestly it's not an area in which i would either comprehend or uh, contribute so strictly speaking i think at that time my thoughts being wanting to be correct my thoughts were that maybe somebody else should do it rather than me but after this presentation and after the way in which doctor has uh, shown how he moved from one to another and the relevance of such a thing not just for india to be a manufacturing hub but also the relevance for those patients who normally give up on being treated because they can't afford it it is served in so many different levels and so many different dimensions and i'm extremely happy and humbly submit my assessment was wrong and i'm so glad that i'm here today and i can i can also be honest and confess that there are so many different levels at which i find there is a relevance for me to be here it's one thing for visionary leaders and leaders who can execute things to have a dream leaders visionary leaders leaders who can execute things have a dream and go about motivating people facilitating trying to remove all the hurdles so that that enterprising indian who also has a dream of serving people serving his patients attending to the set of skilled doctors that he creates so that they remain relevant with all the skills that they require sheer dint of hard work and unless that kind of a support mechanism is provided they are going to become irrelevant and what a loss it would be for the patients and also for the society for them to become irrelevant all that has woven the story today for the brains to be successful and for brains to be successful you also needed a mahalasa technology and so many different uh, participants so many so many different players all of them magically giving solutions for so many different people qualified doctors patients of different types he listed the number of categories in which this one instrument with of course supporting systems is going to be relevant so i go back to the point that it is one thing to have a visionary leader a leader who can execute a leader who can facilitate a leader who can make the system be responsive to the needs of entrepreneurs but it is a totally different thing when it comes to motivated people like dr venkatramana to pursue diligently go on tirelessly other than being a doctor and being relevant to his patients to pursue a dream that he can translate what he envisages as a very vital tool to reality work together talk in terms of even as he presented it he was able to like the way uh, shri sundar raju ji said all this while i've been hearing you but today watching the presentation i'm able to see what you actually have brought onto this world like that for us all to understand what actually was this what would this you know awesome uh, sense of uh, all creating frame does on to your brains that which is once fixed makes you look like a warrior but then what does it do to you so that requires a kind of drive as much as you know visionary leaders can have 
And there are, I'm sure, several Venkatramanas, Dr. Venkatramanas, who can create many such a thing for us. And uh, whilst I'm not uh, decrying revel uh, references to other countries, I think we have everything in the sense of not a platitude, but you have efficient doctors who can think at different levels, you have wonderful engineers who can translate that, their requirement into many other things. But I think what we don't believe is we also have several Sundar Rajus who can fund such things. You need several Sundar Rajus who can support Dr. Venkatramana, several such Venkatramanas, and it is the confidence that people like a successful entrepreneur like Sundar Rajuji can have that he can do other things also and not just look at profit, profit earning but make that a relevant input for something which is going to bring difference to the society at, at a micro level. But several such micro levels are the ones which is going to build an India in which all of us can believe that we've had Dr. Vengar Chamana, we've had Buds who can make it and also not look at funders from outside, funders in India who can support such causes like Sundar Rajuji. So I think Bangalore is in that sense particularly blessed because you have all the three here. So for a, for a national dream of making India, in fact, uh, even if I risk sounding a bit political, for all those who suspect making India is not making much of us progress. Look at this. So, it is possible, it is possible for all of us. And I'm sure there are many more things that governments can do. Many more things can be done by the government to make this a lot more replicable. Many such people do, you know, replicate this example. This could be for a particular treatment, something else could be for communication, a third could be something else. But what a beautiful and ideal combination of a you know information-based scientist, a life science person, a doctor, a practicing neurosurgeon, and a you know person who could convert it all into some manufactured product. And actually speaking, it's so much to every individual's life who's going to be treated with it. But absolutely light. I thought it was going to be heavy, you know, even as, you know, I'm not trivializing it. It's so easy to handle it too. So the designing, the materials used in its production, are on so many different things you can actually talk about this. I can, I can get the feel of it even in the 10 minutes that I sat and heard it. But I'm sure for the users, for the expert doctors who are going to use it, it's going to make a big difference. But going back to making it, so it is not a futile call. It's a call for all of us. And I, for a minute, will take that time to thank the media, both print and electronic media, who have come to cover this, uh, this program. Media's interest is what makes me feel very happy. Because eventually, in the run for sensational political stories, we miss out on what individuals in India achieve and such great achievements are there. So I honestly do mean, I honestly do mean every word of my thank you when I say thanks to media who have come in today and who have stayed here to see what this whole thing is all about. And that's the story of India which we need to propagate a lot more with gusto, with energy, with commitment because this is what is making our lives better and this is what is being uh, is bringing that betterment in our lives purely purely with Indians participating in it we are not dependent on somebody for this so that's the story which the media actually without being goaded to do should do it on their own and I'm glad you're all here for this and that is the ecosystem which after all the entrepreneurs want they want to be you know, seen doing good things. They want to be seen making things which are relevant for all of us and relevant to the country eventually. So I'm so glad I was here. I don't know, I don't think I have sufficient words to see 
something like this where so many different people's energy, commitment, imagination and the creativity have all come to play only to give us a beautiful piece, I would think a piece of art in the medical world. Look how elegant it looks and look how easy it is used to use. A classic piece of art is that and this has got such utilitarian value. So it's got everything in it. So I'm so glad I'm here and my word of uh, appreciation to all of you all. Uh, I don't think it matters at all whether I appreciate it or not, but it's so obviously relevant for all of us. India can have many such dreams come true if only we all believe in ourselves, do less decrying of India's own achievements. Oh no, nothing can happen in this country. No, 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 look at that country, look at this country. Yes, look at them to get more motivation if necessary. But we can do it, it's been proven here. And therefore, I think it's for us to carry this good story forward. And I'm glad I'm here. Thank you, uh, Sundar Rajuji, for having invited me, Dr. Ravitramana. I took the pains also to come all the way to Delhi to invite me. That wasn't necessary at all. I would have come even otherwise. But I'm all the more happy that I came here. And uh, thank you for listening to me patiently. It was a great achievement. Great achievement for Bangalore. One last word. I remember about one and a half years ago, two years ago, I had come here on the invitation of, uh, unfortunately, my senior colleague who is no more, Sri Anand Kumarji, who wanted to have a medical equipment manufacturing hub also together with the chemical and pharmaceutical hub that he was talking about. I do recall that day when. I participated with them in the outskirts of Bangalore where uh, medical devices production together with pharmaceuticals, he wanted to have a hub here. This is one of those wonderful instruments, we should scale it up, we should produce and uh, make it available for any number of hospitals with trained practitioners who would love to have it and I'm happy it is happening in Bangalore. Um, being a part of Karnataka's uh, members of parliament in the Rajya Sabha, it makes me extremely proud that this achievement has happened here. Thank you very much.